This is James Holder by AFL TV. I'm at your quarter today for the Steve Goodwin card. Just bumped into boxer AJ Carter. He's meant to be fighting on the field. I don't know what's happened, a bit of confusion or something. We're going to end up seeing the fight. Can you tell me what happened, AJ? Um, I got my hands bandaged, and then Steve Walton told me that the guy failed his medical. So. Very disappointing to yourself. It is, but that's how life is, you know, you have to prepare for the un unexpected and just take it as it goes, it's, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel as if your training camp and build up for this fight has been a little bit wasted? It's never wasted, no, no form of training is ever wasted as far as I'm concerned, so I just take it on and recharge for the next fight, which is in four weeks on May 17th. Yeah. I can't go cool, so. Did the fight, watching the fight today, what your appetite to get back in the ring? Watching any fight, whether I'm at home or live, in a show watching boxing, I get I get jealous personally. Yeah. It's the only time probably in my life I do get jealous when I see fighters fighting. But that's how it goes. It's the game. What was your favourite fight tonight on the bill? Who did Most you definitely enjoy um, Smoking Joe and Diego, man. Like that. That. Everyone loved that fight. Everyone after every round, after about the second or third round, everyone was just standing up, clapping. Everyone was impressed with that. And, uh, I liked it. it was a good fight. Man. Absolutely great fight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's what it's the type of fight that boxing needs. It's a shame that there's no television. The people deserve to see that and then there'll be more fans of boxing. Indeed, indeed. So we anticipate seeing you out again in May. Yeah, May, the, May the, the 17th. Of, May the 17th. Are you happy with the way your crew is progressing so far with Steve? Uh, most definitely. I'm, I'm trying to fight as often as possible, mm -hmm. as long as I stay injury free. Um, Steve and Derek are bringing me on very well, so I'm just happy with that. I'm progressing. Big fight tonight, Bernard Hopkins versus Shumanov live on the Fox Nation. Yeah. How do you see that one playing out tonight? I mean, you've got to, you know, you've got to stack your, your chips on the favourite guy, and D Hop never fails. So yeah. I, I personally can't see what's his name, Shumanov. Shumanov. Yeah, Shumanov um, doing much. To be fair, he, he, he's not the type of fighter that, that and has the type of style that can beat Hopkins. So. Yeah. It's, um, it's going to be an L for him, but you know, he's going to have to. He's going to have to take it and learn from it. As far as I'm concerned, everything's going all right with yourself. Both outside yeah. the ring, life's good. Most yeah, definitely, life is always good, man. From boxing to my life, life is good. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, we're going to have to meet up and do a bit more something in depth. I think definitely, we need to get some bits and bobs. You know what I mean? That's cool, man. Thanks for giving me a bit of time today. Yeah. Sorry always. for your disappointment, mate, and I'll see you, mate. No worries, it's, it's, it's never disappointing. You have to take the good from a bad situation, so. I appreciate it. Just take it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a bit of time today, AJ, mate. No, no worries, man. Always. Peace.